To add background music in Canva, all you need to do is to head over to audio here in the left toolbar and then click on one of these audio tracks and it will be added to your project. It will appear here in the lower left corner and when you click on it, on top you will be able to choose the portion of the song that you would like to use. Now alternatively, if you would like to use your own music as background music in Canva, you can certainly also do that. Simply click on upload here in the left toolbar, then click on upload files and upload your own music. Once it is uploaded, click on audio here and then just click on the audio file and it will be inserted into your project. Please note that if your project is a simple project with pictures and no videos, you will only be able to use one audio track in your project. You have probably noticed that once I clicked here on, on my uploaded audio track, that down here the track has also changed. And that is because in our case here we just have a couple of slides with pictures and in that case you can only have one music playing, be it background music or any other kind of music. Now however, if you create a video project, you can do that here on Canva's homepage and then in the upper right corner click here on create a design and then here search for video for example. Let me just add a random video here to our project and now when I go to audio again and click on any audio track here, you will see that the layout is a little bit different here as well. So the audio track is going to be added here in the timeline directly under our video clip. And now here if you're going to add another clip yet, you will see that this one will be added here to your project as well. So in this case you can very well have two different audio tracks. So one could be like some background music and you could also have another audio track playing at a certain time in your video. One important thing here is obviously when you have two audio tracks playing, you certainly don't want to play both of them at the same volume, I guess, especially if they are overlapping. So what you can do is you can click here on the audio track that you would like to adjust and then in the upper right corner here, you can change the volume of the audio track. You can obviously do that for each audio track that is in your timeline down here. Now, last but not least, there's one more important thing for you to know. When you download your project by clicking here on share in the upper right corner, and then click on download. Under the download button, it will say connect your social accounts. And if you're planning to use this project outside of Canva, for instance, if you would like to use this video inside of YouTube, then it's very important that you connect your social accounts here because this will help you to avoid a content ID claim on YouTube. If you don't do that and then upload a video to YouTube, then chances are that you will get a content ID claim on your video and that will mean that you won't be able to monetize your video anymore and you certainly don't want that. So make sure to connect your social accounts here before you actually download your project. Also make sure to watch the next video on this channel where I will tell you everything about audio editing in Canva.